Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. We get to have a fun one here today, kids. Uh, we started off with, it looks like I lost. I was wrong. Int Kid Goku Super Easy A does not seem like it's coming. So, let's just kind of set up, like, all this. Um, and then I think we could have some fun kind of, like, looking through comments. So, this is the uh, celebration info, you know, from two weeks ago. And then we could see the people talking about, like... Uh, I swore... Oh, okay, yeah, here we go. Stuff like this. I, I was going to say, I, I swore I saw a bunch of these comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to get a bunch of stuff like this, right? So, um, okay. So, a lot of times, they started this... I, I believe the first one we saw was the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and Int Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Kind of like Dokkan Fest category banner. They started doing those. The first one they ever did was, you know, for the Topo celebration a couple of months ago. Um, and in this, this is where they kind of are, you know, allowing players to get older Dokkan Fest usually seems to be the main goal of it, right? So, again, like Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, if we even take a look at the global celebration info right now, um, they're redoing, again, because things on global ended up being a little bit weird, kind of in the order that they do stuff, like always with global. Um, so they're essentially going to get that same banner twice, right? But the banner I'm talking about is this one right here. The special pose, Dokkan Fest, right? We have Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and Int Gotenks. Now, back during the Topol celebration, both of these characters got their EZA, essentially. Int Gotenks gets his Dokkan Fest EZA, and then Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks gets his Super EZA. Now, we've seen a bunch of these banners drop, and every single time up to this point, they have shown us either an easy a or a super easy a one of the two now so i see this and it's like we have kid goku and we got bulma right here is the here is the banner right here um bulma is not easy because i'm not really super sure how super easy A's are going to work it's still a little early for us to know for sure but definitely with easy a's bulma is a 2023 character they don't start doing EZAs for the premium units, so like the Dokkan Fest TURs and the Summonable LRs, Yellow Quinn Summonable LRs, Dokkan Fest LRs, and I guess once we get to 2022, that's going to include Carnival LRs as well. That's actually next year, 2025, when we're going to start getting that. But they start EZAing characters from that year with the an the, the anniversary Dokkan Fest like Part 1 characters. So we're going to move into 2025, and then... We're going to get the EZAs for the LR Gods and LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And then from that point on, then we could see any 2022 characters begin to EZA. So Bulma, at the absolute earliest, we would not see Bulma EZA until 2026, sometime in there. And it may even be longer after that. But 2026 is when the earliest we would see Bulma EZA. So you look at this, and it's like, these two have already EZA'd. So is Kid Goku. STR Demon King Piccolo has not easy aid. Launch has. And then this guy is a 2022 character. It's probably too early for him. Bulma's not easying. I, I, to me, it seems crystal clear. Like, it's a very... Um, I, I'm not really sure what I'd call it. I, I guess a safe assumption that Kid Goku would get a super easy A right here. Now, he is also... He got his easy A in 2022. So, I mean, he's not that old... But, I mean, when it comes to buffing, like, a team like Dragon Ball Saga, they're going to have to get creative with this. And there also was no, um, yeah, Dragon Ball Saga, which is right there. Um, they also did not do a super easy eight during Tanabata, which to me was okay, made sense, because Universal Travel Saga did not need it. But Dragon Ball Saga did. Now, in here... Here, let's go to this tweet. A lot of people were... Oh, wait, wait. We're going to come back to this. I want to talk about this. I dis Dude, I, I disagree with this so much. But a um, lot of people in here really were not, like, thinking. I see, like this. Like, he's obviously disagreeing, right? Um, isn't that kind of quick? Yeah, I mean, as it turns out, yes. Obviously, the devs thought so. Uh, seems way too early. Yep, yep. Like, like, these things ended up being true, right? 
Let, let's see. Okay, not a chance. EZA is less than two years old. That's true. He EZA'd on JP. It was like, um, what is it, like October 12th of 2022? It's something like that. It's like October 12th or something like that. Or October 13th. October 11th it is when he actually got his EZA. Uh, whoa, 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 spoilers. Hold on, hold on. Um, wait, I'm lost. Where were we? We're right here. Yeah, okay. So, so yeah, he, he's less than two years old. Uh, really doubt they'd skip however many years. Think he's just there because there's literally no other Dragon Ball units they could have put there. More free to play Dragon Ball Saga than there is premium. Very true. Yeah, I mean, I guess that is just the case. I, I this almost seems like a pointless banner. Like they typically drop shit like this, and it's gonna be for players to, you know, oh my God, there's a busted EZA. I need to get it. Time to summon for it. This was really just sitting there, I guess, for people to try and get Bulma. I, I guess. Is what this is. I mean, Bulma and JP is 15 months old. She came out in, like, um, May of 2023. So, I mean, I, I, I guess. But, like, this is just a very pointless banner. This does make things a little bit less exciting moving forward. Because now we actually have one of these banners that has shown up where there hasn't been an easy A. There's not been an easy A, and there hasn't been a super easy A either. Um, I, that make, wanna, I want to come back to this point. This, I, I feel like so many people brought this up, and they completely missed the mark with this. MVP 17 was on there, but 17 and Golden Frieza, who easy ate are right there. That's the point. Characters who easy ate were on the banner, and it wasn't just them. Um, it's also Team Universe 7 as well. I don't want to look at Globals, because Globals added Tech Jiren. Tech Jiren was on the... Um, uh, EGL Jiren banner, right? So we have, yeah, Team Universe 7 and 17 and Golden Frieza, both easy aid, plus Skinny Boo, plus, uh, reps of Universe 7 Piccolo right here. So four of the characters on this banner easy aid during the celebration. I, nobody thought 17 was super easy. I, I did not see people saying 17 was going to super easy A. So I, I, I feel like this is just people just throwing shit out. Like I, this has nothing to do with anything and it's wrong because multiple characters did easy A from it. I, I think people who would have said no because it's just too soon. Uh, obviously the devs agreed with that. We can take a look at, uh, oh yeah. So, so this is the tweet I made, right? See what someone said. Uh, okay, just talking about this. Not even two years old. Yeah, I, I, I think it would have been a good decision to do. Because the thing about Kid Goku, too, is even if they... So, like, they give him a super easy A now. Uh, he's right here. Like, you know, he would age out, you know, maybe within six months or something like that. Who knows? I guess it's hard to say. Like, is it going to be, like, 2023 where the power creep from the previous year didn't really get crazy until the very end of the year? I hope so. Like, I hope the 10th anniversary in terms of like, difficult content does not go way too far forward. I think it's just not healthy to just constantly be like, all right, the entire game is dead overnight, right? They can only do that so many times. They basically did that with the ninth anniversary, but the characters they gave us during the ninth anniversary were so busted and so good and were actually able to protect the rest of the team that it really wasn't so much of a big deal, right? Um, but I, I thought that they could have done this because we're also going to be getting a constant string of kid goku characters because like when it comes to dragon ball saga despite i see arguments about this all over the place constantly but outside of kid goku himself there isn't really super heavy marketing for og dragon ball saga and i mean if you disagree well i mean it's just y y look at the series how it's marketed everywhere how the games are marketed all the games you can tell they don't highlight Dragon Ball Saga very much. It's just, it is what it is, right? Kid Goku himself, I would say, is, like, very marketable. I do think when it comes to, like, Dokkan, like a dual Dokkan Fest celebration or something like that, I do think they could do Kid Goku and Demon King Pickle. I think that would work. Um, but it, it's like, you know, that's why Dragon Ball Saga has not had, you know, 50 million Dokkan Fest exclusives and summonable LRs the way every other saga has, right? GT has half the episodes, less, less, it's, it's almost a third. Well, because GT is, 
what, like 64 or something like that? And Dragon Ball is like 154, it's something like that. But it's less than half, right, that GT has. But how many Dokkan Fest LRs, Dokkan Fest exclusives, right? Like, you know, Carnival LRs and all that type of stuff does GT have. Um, now, I, I did kind of want to give people a, a chance to get their victory lap over me. I do not mind. I'm here for one reason only, and that is to provide entertainment anyway. So I, I figured people would enjoy, again, getting the the good old W over me. Where's the... There was there was funny ones in here. Mm, physical rally. Uh, I, I wish. I mean, I, they can't do a rally stuff at the moment. So, like, we're not going to see a rally in um, Sparking Zero, for example. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, from Cam. I don't think so. Seven. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. That has nothing to do with anything. God damn it. I, I, I will fight you all day long about this. No, I don't want to ask Grok anything, Elon. Shut up. Uh, probably won't be a Dokkan Fest these day or Super Easy Celebration. Well, no, that's not. Th this is ridiculous. This, this is utterly ridiculous to say. There was. It was Videl, right? Videl was a Dokkan Fest exclusive Easy A. Category 7 normally has the Easy A units on it. Um, yeah, that, I mean, that is true. Videl, by the way, was on Roshi's banner, but she did easy A. Unless Pat the Power Kid Goku easy A's, so we'll just get a big sub easy A, easy A of Dragon Ball units. Well, it was Videl. Don't confess Videl. But Videl was very obvious. The second we saw Videl on Roshi's banner, it's like, oh yeah, she's easy A for sure. Uh, yeah, exactly. 17 and Frieza were the easy A and Team Universe 7 on there. And I, I, yeah, LR Bulma easy A, there was no way that was ever happening. Um, what else do we got? Yeah, Bulma, of course, is not going to easy A. Uh, I mean, I assume, I, I, I've i liked a lot of the super easy A's. I mean, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, as time is going on, I, I mean, he certainly, it, it's just, if, like, if you could hide Super Saiyan 3, Goku, he can be very effective, but he is capable of taking a lot of damage, man, that, uh, Dragon Fist Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But still, I mean, seeing, the, like, these 2016 characters as effective as they are is really fun. Like, Physical Kid Buu, Physical Goku Black, these characters have been pretty effective, right? So that's really good. Um, alright, I, f I feel like we're getting... What are, is always gonna be the complete opposite of what they do, yeah. Oh! Oh! You know, one point I didn't bring up, the pattern shit. So that's what this was, right? This was kind of like, you know, Dokkan will establish these patterns where, you know, this for this one, it's that every time they show one of these banners, one of these characters, easy A's. But, I mean, I, even I say this all the time, the pattern is always a thing until it's just not. They just, they just change it, right? And that was the case here. I thought, like, I thought of that, but I didn't think it was on the table, right? I, I didn't think that this was going to be a time where they're going to break the pattern. I, I, I really thought he was going to super easy A for sure. Uh, now, one other thing I do want to get in here too. Uh, we'll, we'll look at a little bit more comments, stuff like that. We could kind of like jump through here. Um, see uh, like like what people are saying. I guess I, I thought maybe it wasn't this video where they were really talking about Int Kid Goku. Maybe not. Um, but there is this. I don't think they are going to add uh more characters to this roshi celebration because next week is going to be the countdown to worldwide right so like in this week like the countdown is going to be starting towards the end of the week and then we're going to actually be in the worldwide celebration you know on like the 27th 28th 29th 30th in this range it's not that far it's about two weeks exactly away right global is still going to be accelerating through content, but JP is not. JP's on just like a typical schedule. Um, so I don't think JP is getting extra easy A's or characters or anything like that. That's why I was comfortable just, just making this video now. But, I mean, it is true. So there's no Bulma stage added to this. So if we take a look at this, there's three new stages. I think it's it's Bra, um, Mai, and Android 18, right? Uh Oh, no, it's... Wait, there also isn't a stage for Mai. Yeah, it's it's launch, bra, and Android 18. So there's actually got to be at least two more stages. Huh. So, I, I mean, there is going to be another data download next week that's going to have these two stages. But, I mean, we've also seen an instance of that with the second movie, Red Zone, which, you know, global players, you guys just got that. Uh, if we pull that up, um, they, like on JP, 
Oh, you know how we could pull this up? Let's just look at my videos. That's how we could easily see. All right, guys. So here is um, when the second movie Red Zone dropped. This is the fight against Tao on December 28th. And then here is when we had the uh, fight against Beerus and Golden Frieza. This is January 30th, right? So, and Beerus and Golden Frieza, those fights were basically part of the ninth anniversary in the next celebration. So, um, I do think that we could get... Here, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of Roshi. We can leave Kid Goku. Uh, I'll leave this banner just in case people keep pulling that up. Let's get rid of this. Oh, yeah, I got way too many tabs open. Okay, okay, right here. So, we come back to this. They easily could drop... Let's see. Chi-Chi, Pan, and 18 are represented in here. Yeah. So, Mai and Bulma. At least two more stages should be coming. I, unless they're going to do some other peppy gal type character. I guess, I mean, we could get like Chi Lai or something like that. I guess that's possible. Um, but I think we could easily get those last two stages. You know, maybe stage seven against my stage eight against Bulma in a uh, data download next week. That is part of the worldwide download celebration countdown. And also would have like easy LR Goku and Piccolo or something like that. Right. But like that being not as part of the Roshi celebration, but more so aiming towards worldwide and being a hint towards worldwide. So even though I guess, I guess the chances are not zero that Kid Goku still gets a super easy A. I like I, I I'm packing it in. I, I I don't think it's going to happen. Um. All right. We we could just so so we looked at a bunch of this. Oh, that's all of it. I think some people deleted some of their quotes. Also, Twitter has gotten way worse. Like. It's so difficult to find tweets. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, unless a bunch of people blocked me, because I don't block and mute anyone. So, uh, unless they deleted their tweets or, you know, Elon just not showing it. Let's see what the replies and quotes. Do we have any quotes here? Uh, okay, can't. Sure. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This dude. This dude. I remember he had a quote. He was a little snarky. I, I had targeted him. I was, I was going to circle back around for him. But he, unfortunately, he got the dub. The bad guys won. Yeah, as I said right here. The bad guys won. Ah, we'll see. All right, l listen. You guys take your W now. But if that Hail Mary comes through and with those my uh, and Bulma stages, he does come in. I will be coming back. I will be coming back. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Filler seems strong. But yes, that's what the end of July, start of August celebration is. Um, kind of like the October Halloween start of November celebration is kind of like that. Global players, you guys are finally going to be able to experience it with us now. The worst celebration of the year is always the Halloween start of November celebration. It's always the worst celebration of the year. And it typically works very well for Global because then Global gets that at the start of March. And, I mean, even though it kind of sucks still then, it doesn't feel as bad since you go right into um, Saiyan Day uh, on the 18th of the month, right? Uh, huh. Could we see a bunch of super easy A's during Worldwide? I guess that's possible. We could, yeah. I mean, if, well, okay, if they do GT, we could, eat, you know, STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku Super Easy A, AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Super Easy A. If it's movies, I, there's going to be numerous options available, right? I mean, OG STR Broly, I, like they could, you know, the Tech Broly could have his easy A. I mean, yeah, the thing is, super easy A's are huge to get more content and to make teams better. That's right, Roshi really did need a super easy A for his team. It didn't even necessarily need to be Kid Goku. What they could have done is they could have uh, gone into um, Goku Family, I guess. Where's Goku Family? My brain is not working. It's this. This is Goku Family. Uh, you know who they could have grabbed, I, I guess? Uh, he's the oldest turtle school one i could think of actually maybe i should have just clicked the turtle school category uh wait what year are we in this is 2020 so i want to go the end of 2019 yeah here is this guy i still think they could have super easy at this guy right here right what what roshi's team did need another legitimate turtle school option right uh, the problem is that there is no old yamcha dokan fest to you know give a super easy a2 that's already easy eight or something like that no old like us 
Yamcha didn't get his Dokkan Fest until 2022. Krillin has still never gotten a Dokkan Fest, right? So they could have super... Like, I, they should have done a super easy A for this celebration. Roshi's team just flat out needed more options. I know it seems weird that it's like, you know, a Goku, but even if you look at Turtle School, which is this one right here, I, it's like, him, anything below this guy, like to the right of this guy, is just almost unrunnable. Like, you could run Physical God Goku because he's dodged. You could run Int God Goku because he's dodged. This guy is absolute fodder trash. I, I mean, I guess 23rd World Tournament Goku in the right situation can be solid along with Krillin. I could probably still do a video focused on him and Roshi's team. Hmm. Uh, people would probably enjoy that as a long video, huh? Maybe I'll do that. Uh, it's it's going to be tough for me to do a long a long video before World Tournament. Damn, yeah, it's three days away. Oh, God, okay. I, I should have did that long video about him. People would love that. People love that character. But yeah, mo most of these units, they're just dead. Like, these units are all fodder, right? They're not, like, actually... Oh, this guy. Actually, this guy. That guy's still good. As long as it's Movie Boss or Pure Saiyan, he's still good. But, uh, yep, there we go. There we go. I, I wanted to give people their victory lap here. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, slice. I, I am uh, very humble, Jordan. Thank you. Um, yeah, true. Uh, if super easy A's can just be recent easy A's, it completely ruins its objective of just powering up super old units. Um, I, I mean, that is a good point. I mean, I had more so started to look into it to really make teams extra competitive, but sure. Uh, I think that Goku and Piccolo are probably going to be a Worldwide Downless Celebration Countdown EZA. I, I guess it could be after Worldwide. It could. I, like, it's not... By the way, this Goku and Piccolo thing is not, like, just like, oh, it could happen. Like, they're going to EZA. It's just a matter of when. I, it probably is Worldwide. Um, I got cooked. Ah, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, okay. Well, here's the thing. Tanabata did not need a super easy A whatsoever. It would just be, I, in my opinion, a waste of a slot. This celebration, we could have gotten a super easy A for Roshi's team. So, I, I like, I, I don't, I really don't look at it as a big deal for Tanabata. This celebration, yeah, they should have did a super easy A, but Tanabata's not a problem. Are they waiting for the sync? It's probably not that, but it could be, I guess. Because remember, they make a lot of the schedule stuff like a year in advance, but I... I don't know. I mean, I don't If you're playing global, it certainly didn't feel like it at the start of the year, right? Uh, wait. What? I, bro, I'm giving you a victory lap, Cairo. Hello? All right, that's enough. I've had it up to here. The bad guy. That is so true. Yep, 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 yep. No, no, bad guys did win. No, you can't. You, do you, you guys didn't want Kid Goku to Super ECA? Nah, you're full of it. You're full of it. Uh, teaser. I have no idea what the teasers. The, I haven't really been talking about the teasers too much because these. this is something that there's not really much prediction we can make about this. I don't think so. I, they're going to drop it when they drop it. I, I, like, I, I don't have any... Like, there's not really much of a pattern either. The last couple of years... Uh, Misaka did a tweet on this. Like, they, it, it's been jumped all over the course of, like, a eight-day span or something like that. Yeah, here we go. All right, so... Uh, let's see. In 2020, it was the 11th of August. Okay. 2021, it was the 9th. Holy hell. Uh, 2022, it was... Wait. Am, wait, am I looking at that? Oh, hold on. Yeah, 2023 was the... No, no. 2023 was the 9th. 2023 was the 9th of August. Yeah, that's so early. 2022 was the 13th of August. So this is the cooler. The little thing that implied cooler was coming. This, obviously... I, I The first time we looked at this, uh, we took... Vegito is what we took away from this, right? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Um, That, the cooler stuff was obvious. Then the 17th. Uh, you know, obviously going to be like Namek Saga. That was fun. I, I don't mind if we do Namek again. I really don't mind. Uh, and then the 17th right there as well. Yeah, so, dude, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, look at look at this. So, last year was the 9th. A couple years ago was the 17th. That's a huge difference. 
So any time within that range, we could be seeing the teaser. I mean, it'll probably drop towards the end of the world tournament now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, the 17th. I bet you the teaser is on the 17th. Yeah, probably. How many times have we seen teasers like that last day of world tournament? A million times. A million times. L the Broly movie shit, the first time it was in, like, you know, teased in Dokkan was a world tournament. I remember I was grinding world tournament and I was watching a Batman Arkham Knight playthrough. And, it, it, you know, it's the T, uh, Broly movie. Because remember, we got the EZA for the AGL Broly. Well, I don't know if the, the, we fought AGL Broly was a boss in the game months before the movie came out and months before the movie stuff you released, right? You guys remember that. Um, so yeah, probably the 17th for the teaser. All right. I, I'm, I'm rambling now. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Everyone, everyone gets their, their W. They get to have their fun. What is this? Blue Kaioken, Goku, Evolution, Blue Vegeta took a slot three super from movie memorial beast gohan and live that's a that's that's good that's impressive that's a three million super right there really i mean i'd love to see the context here like is there a support memory is there an item i like i could see i mean there, there's different things though team universe seven supers the term before i mean that's a lot that's a sizable amount of defensive support right like there's definitely ways remember all these like good characters now if you you know, put them on the milking table and give them the huge juice like Team Universe 7 and then maybe like the 17 and 18 two-turn support. You can make a lot of characters look as busted for any agenda or Twitter clip you want to. Um, but, the, I mean, they are legitimately just a good character, though. The Blue Cow can Goku, Evolution Blue Vegeta. So, there we go. Uh, let me know what you guys think. No super easy A for Kid Goku, unfortunately. It would have been really good for uh, Roshi's team, but... It just means that Kid Goku could super easy a uh, probably, you know, far down the line. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch y'all next time.